Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Men Effect here. In this episode, we're going to be starting on the track to get rail. Let's see what I did there. Mm -hmm. Because now that we've got a new place to go, we've got to get stuff from point A to point B, and trains are just the way to go. So, if you're new to this channel or this pack, take a look around. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But, let's get started! So in the last episode, we set up the plane here, we've done a little bit of exploring and found ourselves a nice little mushroom island, which we'll be moving to soon. But we've got a few things to do first. Uh, so let me get back to base and we'll go have a look at the book to see where things are. So if we quickly have a look in the book here, what I was thinking about doing, I believe it's under logistics. Uh, yep, so we need to unlock Logistics 2, which are the upgraded Red Belts. So in Factory, of course, we've got the Red Belts, uh, which are faster. But in this pack, apparently, they've got a, a small impact on the game performance. So because I'm already having problems, I have decided probably to skip that. And we're going to use the trains to do some cool stuff. Uh, but we all need 100 and 100 to that, which I have on the inventory, so we'll go detect and submit. That'll unlock that one. There we go, which unlocks also the stack and setters, which we could do now if we wanted to. But the big thing, of course, is we want to go extra rails. Uh, now, if we quickly look into here, without doing that, we do have tracks available. Uh, the track rail. We do have the normal rail from Minecraft in here, and we've also got the carts. So, everything's there, we could do it without needing this stuff. But the cool thing about this, if we look at extra rail, provides the cart hopper, which quickly transfer items from and to the cart to another inventory. So, let's, uh, it's only 70, 75 75, so a bit cheaper than the logistics 2. So, we'll go detect and submit. That gives us the 75. And we can probably have a look now at what that provides. We should be able to look for at or L021. There you go. So that's the stuff this really um, unlocks. So we've got the steel rail, the powder steel rail, the holding rail, deceleration rail, intersection rails, detection rails, jump mail. Ooh, could be interesting. Uh, the railroad wrench. Uh, this is from Better Railroads, so it's not the old railcraft that we're used to in the MyRail series, so it'll be a new thing to play with. Uh, and we've also got the cart hopper from Signals. Uh, but otherwise, I think we're all good. Oh, it's night time, minute time. Uh, but I think if we go into here, we've got another quest that's unlocked by that, so that's extra rails. We can go to Rail Automation, which gives us the station markers. And these are used to automate the item transport by my cars by providing Naval water locations for carts to travel to. Let's detect that. How many have we got there? So we got still got 75. Uh, and that was for L031. So if we go to 31, this unlocks the station marker. Okay, so that's probably worth playing around with. Uh, but I'm also thinking, let's just go straight into signals. How many have I got left there? I've got not probably enough. Let's just grab, grab this here, grab some more of that and some more of that. Hopefully, that'll be enough for what we need. So we'll go back into here. So rail signals, uh, car engine or rail signals. I'm thinking for the moment, let's put the car engine there. So that's going to require 100, 100. That should give us everything we need. And that there was L42. Uh, which will give us ooh, lots of stuff. Uh, but that gives the cart engine. Uh, does it give us anything else that's probably related to what we want? Don't think so. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all these up and find a nice little test area to play with, and I will be back in a moment. Okay, so I've made a lot of what we need. Uh, I did. However, go down to the uh, current factory and find that we haven't got a Fumi Audit Fabricator. And I was also thinking what I might do is let's just unlock everything to do with rails. So we're going to go into here and we're going to unlock rail signals. 
because it's only 100 and 100, so it's not too much. So we'll click on the detect submit because I have all the stuff we need. That should let us claim it. And what is actually required to make signals? Let's have a quick look here. Signal. No, oh, sorry. Uh, give me a signal. So we've got the two different signals. We've got a block signal, which is. Another electron tube. So another thermionic fabricator. Okay, so we need to go down that path anyway. So we're going to need to make one of these guys. Uh, we are going to need to place a steady casing in. Uh, which apparently requires some bronze. Now, I don't think I've got any bronze. Oh, hello, what's this here? A pedestal? I don't know what a pedestal for. We'll put it next to this other one of unknown requirements. Oh, look, it's a shopping cart. Okay. Anywho, we do I have any bronze? That was the question. Wow, my frame rate is really low back in the base here. We're going to look at the factory. So, I'm thinking what we're going to do is part of this whole process is I'm going to tidy up a lot of what we're using and convert from using belts to using minecarts because they should be a lot more reliable and don't back up. And I think a lot of what was causing the frame rate drops is because there's a lot of items in the world just going round and round in circles. Uh, we've got ourselves the... Um, the bronze that we needed, we'll go into here, click on this, this, we'll go into there, and to there, so we can make this guy, this guy, click on that, and we'll stick the bronze into our slot that's there, grab that, it's just about ate all the bronze. We might need some more of that soon. Go back into here though. Into there. Click on this guy. Followed by this guy. Uh, I think everything else we have. I actually made up a chest for something else. So we do have a chest for that. Or we could make... Oh. Let's go with this. Um, I'm going to put... That there, and to there, we'll put the gold over to there. Grab that guy. And I'm just going to make another chest while we're here, because I'll need two for what we're doing later. Uh, except I don't have enough coal for that. Uh, enough wood for that. It's fine, we have wood over here. Oh, jeepers. Grab a small amount. We don't need a lot. Put that into planks. Hopefully, sometime very soon, I'll be away from this very laggy area. I'll place this over to there. Grab this chest. And grab that chest. Now... What else do we need to make these guys? So we need to make a lapis tube, which is going to require lapis, right? Yes, so we're going to need some lapis, some redstone, and some sand, I believe it is, to make glass. Uh, plus we'll need some power, so let's grab from down here. Oh. I'm just going to connect all this up. Um, and try and fix the lag problem, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm back down here, and I've actually turned a lot of stuff off. Uh, like, I've turned all the smelting setups off, and the mining drills, so that we have a bit more better frames. Because the amount of items that are in the world is what I think is causing a lot of the lag. So I've turned all that, waited for the stuff to flow through. 
and we will probably have to take a look at that in a second. Uh, but I'm thinking I'm going to place uh, this probably. It's a power lantern which takes LV. How about we put that there? We'll grab ourselves a wire connector. I'll need to grab some sand as well. Let's head down here. And we'll run a. Can I put that on there? Will it get power from that if I place it there? And we'll grab a LV. Uh, we'll grab an LV connector. Oops, not there. There. So you cannot attach it right here. Oh, that's MV. Looks like the drone's having a bit of fun over there. Uh, let's already connect up. Let's place the right thing in there. So we need an LV connector, which I thought I brought some with me. There we go. Place one of those. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it's neat. Let's go up to here and connect that to there. Yes, does that get power? It does. Perfect. Awesome. So we'll go back under here and we will need to grab some sand, I believe it is, to put into here so that we can make the little glass. Ooh, noisy, noisy, noisy. What's going on? Uh, we're going to place some sand. I don't have any sand on me. That's not exactly helpful. Um, probably grab some from over here, though. Uh, squeeze through here and stand here. That should be enough. Turn that guy back off because it does create a little bit of lag. Yeah, we should be able to place the sand into there, is it? And when that heats up, there is no reason to be currently, that's fine. We were going to make one of these electron tubes. Uh, I don't bring any la lapis with me either, that's not very helpful. But we place them into there. It now says we need inventory, needs resources, so we're going to need some redstone and some lapis. Liquid resource. Oh, yeah, it's gonna heat up. So we could probably grab. We probably go grab the uh, lapis while we wait for that to heat up. So we have to put some lapis in there. It should make four of those. Perfect. The other things we need are the golden ones, which we can do that with. I'll place some gold into there. Apparently we're going to get another set of that, that's fine, we'll grab some more of those as well. And does that mean if I keep that active, there we go. So that should give us enough to make the stations that we need. Okay, so down here where I have laid quite a bit of track, and you can see it goes quite a long distance, and I've got a slight kink here just as a test bed because we might need it later on especially if we're gonna start using this to replace a lot of the the belts that we've currently got lying around all over the place uh, which came especially the leggy ones like the smelter room so what we need to do though is we're gonna set up a quick little station probably here probably the best place to start and it will go green station 15 no we're gonna call this Old base. Uh, we're also going to walk all the way down to the other side here. In fact, let's not walk. Let's take this guy. 
Uh, and while I'm doing this, I've also gone around and cleaned up a lot of the... A lot of the polluted earth that was around. Of course, I say that, and then it gets all messy. And nasty. Uh, but I've gone around and cleaned up a lot of the polluted earth that was around the place. Hopefully it reduces the amount of mobs that are spawning, because a lot of it is coming from that polluted earth. I'm going to put another one probably about here, because that's where this um, locking truck is. That's a good place for it. Uh, and we're going to play it. We'll call this one, I don't know, Pest End. Uh, because I'll continue this off onto the new area, but we also might need these for other things. And I'm going to just gonna push this guy. Okay. How about we send him back? So if we click on this guy with the rail configura configurator, we can go... Old base as a destination and then test end. And if we give them a push just onto one of those powered rails, cool. it'll go off and hopefully get to the other end. Now I don't know if it will come back. In theory it should just loop around. Or it will stop right there. Did I I forgot to put some power onto that guy. Uh, let's just place that there for now. Uh, hopefully we send over there. Should go to there and then... Noisy. Hmm. Didn't turn around like I thought it would. I wonder if we're going to have a loop type track or... Double in fact, now I'm thinking it might be better if we have a double line rather than a single line. Uh, all we'll do is we'll go over to here though, and I'm going to place another one here uh, because that's where our button currently is. I just put that there for testing, put that to there, and we'll call this I don't know test side because, of course, it's a side base. Uh, and I don't know if we need loops. Let's go into here though, and we'll head down this way. Very paranoid now though. Um, and we'll end it then to test side. So if we give this guy a, a, a tap, that wasn't very clever, I put a button there for that purpose. Give this guy a tap, and we'll go off Hopefully go all the way to the end, and then come back. Oh, is that going to make it? Yep. Uh, it'll come all, the way, uh, come all the way back, and then turn down to here to head to that station. Uh, hopefully. I don't think we've got anything allowing that to continue on, so that's probably not going to work. Yeah, just stop there. Uh, do I have any uh, levers on me? No. I uh, don't even have any sticks on me. That's not overly helpful. Um, hmm. I suppose what we could do is just take out that for a moment. Hopefully, though, he has too many reached there and will turn. No. Hmm. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to have a little fiddle and see what's going on, because that really should be working. Uh, so we're working on it. Okay, so I've done some more testing, and I think I've got most of it working. As you can see, I've double lane this main line here. Not sure if it's actually required, uh, because we jump into here now, and we press forward. Also, we'll hit the powered rail, which will make it a little faster. And we'll just lock up for a second. There we go. We'll go around here. So we've hit the first destination. And then we get down here. And I'm not going to touch any keys here. I'm not touching a single thing. And it goes this way. 
which of course is the destination we wanted. If I then just give this a quick push around the corner here, as you can see I have had to add a, add a loop uh, so that it can go find its way back. We get pushed off in this direction. Come to here and it goes this way. So I think I fixed it and that we're actually going where we need to go with the stations which is quite cool because it means you can configure much like in Factorio or some of the other games you can configure where the train goes to and it will find its own path to get there. So that piece works. The next thing I thought we'd do though is when, because we've got two lanes and with two lanes it's not as bad but with one lane it was going to be even worse we probably need to have something to block the areas out so that one train won't hit another train and we can do that with the block signals and I don't have enough here at all to do what we need but we can place a block signal pretty much um, to separate things out now I'm thinking we're gonna have to I don't, Actually, you can see that the arrows have changed to indicate the direction of travel. Uh, although I don't know how... I don't know if I put this here instead. Does that work better? Yeah, I actually... <laughs> as much as I like driving on the left side of the road because I'm a New Zealander, uh... I think it's actually going to look better if we had the signal in the, in the middle so we can control what's happening in this new walking area. Uh, but you can see now that this line here is limited to that direction. And this line, if we put another signal here, line up exactly. You can then now see that there are two different blocks here. So, or block areas. Uh, so there's this one here, which is the light grey, and then there's the blue area. Now to enter the blue area, it has to be free, and this guy would have to be green. If we just... let's grab another card actually, I think we've got another one on me. Somewhere. There. Throw this guy in this path, and we'll go back to holding a signal. You can now see that it's red. And this guy has switched off. Nope, it hasn't switched off because I was, of course, planning on. Not using these. I was just going to have them powered rail, but let's take that out. And grab. Now it's off. And I'm going to have to run that the whole way along. Uh, but let's take this guy off as well. And now because it's free again, you can see that it's turned on. So it's sending out a redstone signal to turn this guy on and off based on what's set up on here. So I'm thinking what I'm going to have to do is run um, some more powered rails for stopping. Because the idea is we want to stop the train or the cart when it gets to this point so it doesn't enter that area. And I'll have to run some of this all the way along here, as well as some more block signals the whole way along to make some more blocks. Uh, I'm thinking I'll put another one probably about there. And you'll see what happens. So we put that one there. And you'll see we now get another segment, or another block, from here to here. So this here, if there's anything in this car, in this lane, will stop this guy from triggering. And then... The same with this one here, this very long blue one, because there's no other signals. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set all those up. I'm going to have to make some block signals, of course. And I will be back in a moment. Okay. So, it's all set up now. Let's give this guy a kick. You can see that both sides now have the powered rails. The cart will, in some cases, go a bit sluggish, but that's not a big problem. And we can have another cart on here. So if we put, say, this cart here, when it comes back, which I always forget that I haven't got it automatically going on. Um, that is something we're going to cover in a second. Not here, though, because I had an idea of where we need to do that. We'll head back to here. 
very sluggish. And you'll see that it's turned this one off because there is a cart there. Uh, so you can see it's turned it off. If I then kick this one into motion, that one there will move forward. And yeah. Okay, so I've been editing the video and found it's a lot longer than I expected. So I'm going to end the video here. And in the next episode, we'll cover off the changes I'm making above us, as well as how the cart hoppers work. So if you enjoyed this episode or found anything in use, please do leave a comment down below. But otherwise, have a great day.